Looking at our world from a theological perspective, this is the Theology Central Podcast, making Theology Central. Good afternoon, everyone. It is Wednesday, July the 12th, 2023. It is currently 5.11 p.m. Central Time, and I'm coming to you live from the Theology Central studio located right here in Abilene, Texas, where it is currently 108 degrees outside. You walk outside right now and you will literally melt. You will literally just melt. You will no longer exist. That's how hot. Okay, maybe that's a little bit of hyperbole, but it is very hot outside. And there is a very, very hot question that we need to find an answer for. I don't know. Do we call it a hot? The the burning question of our time is before us today because we need to know how to pronounce something. We need to know how to say it. How do you say the following word? How do you pronounce it? I want to know how to, how, how, what's the cor- correct way to say it? I, I, w- I want to know how, how do you say the word correctly? Are you ready? I'm going to spell it out for you. P O D U R A M A P O D U R A M A. What's the correct way to say that? Do you say Padarama? Padurama? Padarama? Padarama? How, how would you say it? Padarama? Padarama? I think I would go with Padarama, or do you go with Padarama? I mean, really, those are only your, your only two options, right? Padarama? Padarama? I mean, that's the burning question of our time, right? Of all the things going on in the world right now, the only thing that matters is who cares that it's 108 degrees outside? How do you say this? Potorama, Potorama. What, what is the correct way? The per- first person to get the answer right will win 100,000. Okay, I'm joking. You're not going to win anything. But I would like to know, how do you say it? Potorama, Potorama. There's a part of me that wants to say Potorama. But then there's another part of me that says Padarama, but Rama, no Rama, Rama, right? Like, doesn't that sound better? Now you may know what is a Padarama. What is a Padarama? You you probably don't have any ideas, but we'll, we'll talk about what it is in just a minute. But I really want you to tell me Padarama, Padarama. You can send a voice memo to me at newsif at yahoo.com, newsif at yahoo.com, Padarama, Padarama. What? do you think? It's the burning question of our time. What's the correct way to pronounce this? What what is the best pronunciation? What is the best way to say it? What is the correct way? What happens if you say it incorrectly? If you say it incorrectly three times, does a curse fall upon you? Okay, I'm, I'm joking around a little bit, but the reason I'm asking how you say Padarama Padarama is because, well, it's a podcasting app that I'm going to take a few minutes to tell you about. Now, I don't know about you. I listen to a lot of podcasts, and I use pretty much every podcasting app that I can get my hands on. I try them all. Like, I have so many, and I'm always checking out new features, new this, new that, new, just anything I can, because they all have their own kind of unique take on how to present podcasts to you, how to organize them, how to help you discover new ones. Now, and I don't know how many podcasts you listen to, but I think you should always check out new podcasting apps just to see what they have to offer, to see if it is something that works best for you. Everyone has kind of their own, and it's very interesting. People are very (laughs) <laughs> they're very much like, this is the podcasting app I use. And if your podcast is not on that podcasting app, I'm not changing because that's the podcasting app I use. People become very connected and committed to one podcasting app. But I think you should explore. I think you should check out new ones. And so I would, I'm going to challenge you today to check out Potorama, Potorama, the Potorama, 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 however we say it, I want you to check out that app today. Here's a little bit of information about it. Here's a little, okay. 
All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. See, now someone said you think the Rama part is play on drama, right? Rama, drama, since it's podcasting, which would mean pronounced like that. Just throwing out a guess. I agree with that person. Someone in chat is already saying that. I, that's how I saw Rama, drama, Padarama. That, that's Rama. I, I don't know. Rama, Rama. I don't know. I, I'm going to go with Rama. I, I think that's the direction I'm going to go. But here's some information. Potorama. We're going to go with Potorama. According to the Apple App Store, is the best free podcaster play, podcast player for mobile, tablet, and web with no ads. Potorama is the best free podcast player for mobile, tablet, and web with no ads. Do you find it hard to come across new podcasts? Not anymore. We will recommend you the best podcast based on the genres you choose and your current shows. It can save you many hours spent every week on looking for the next interesting podcast. You will also be able to check out the trending podcast shows every week filtered by genre. Now, look, I don't know what kind of podcast you listen to. If you're into true crime, Obviously, then you can you can filter them out by genre. But if you are in, well, this is a theology podcast, theology podcast, church history podcast, devotional podcast, Christian podcast, spirituality, you can filter them out and then you will get recommendations based off what you're listening to based off your favorite genre, which could help you discover a lot of new Christian podcasts and theology podcasts. If you listen to many podcasts, we have the best features to organize all your podcasts. They can split, they can split based on genres, custom tags, and you can view all the recent episodes at once from all your favorite podcasts. Do you remember your favorite episode from last year or want to know how many podcasts you listen to in a week? You can do all of that now. You can also add notes to your favorite episodes and make it public if you want to share it with the community. Some of the other features uh, to sort favorite podcast episodes into tiers, to take notes for podcast episodes and making that note private, public, depending on whether you want to share it with the community. Keeping track of listening patterns, you can search over 700,000 podcasts and millions of episodes. You can create unlimited playlists, offline listening, and custom RSS feeds. And ladies and gentlemen, yes, there is more. So you should check out Potterama, and you can do so by going to Potterama.com. Now, Potterama, the good thing about it is it's a cross-platform podcasting app. You can listen on Apple. You can listen on Android. You can listen on a Windows-based computer. You can listen on a Mac computer. So you, whether you're on a, your computer, whether you're on a phone, whether you're on a tablet, you can listen. And if you log in and register, you can keep track across all of those platforms. The Podorama podcasting app. Now, I would beg you, plead with you. Please, at least check it out. Download the app today. Go to Potterama.com. At least check it out. And, and if, you, if there's a way to contact them, let them know that you learned about it because of the Theology Central podcast. The reason I'm doing this is they offered us a great opportunity. If we mention them, uh, we, do, we, we tell people to listen to the Theology Central podcast via the Potterama podcasting app. They will feature us in our specific genre. So in theology, maybe Christian, religion, spirituality will be one of the featured podcasts, which will give us greater visibility. It's very hard for a little podcast like my, mine, you know, to get really noticed, right? Because we get buried under those millions and millions of podcasts with big names, big budgets, big productions. They're going to get the, they're going to get the, they're going to get moved to the to forefront, right? That's why I'm always saying, hey, please leave us a positive review on any podcasting app that will let you do so. Give us five stars. Do anything you can because you really, you get buried. There's an avalanche lunch of podcast and and I do believe it is one of the most difficult things depending on your podcast app unless they're really trying to help you with podcast discovery 
You may never, and sometimes what they suggest as podcast discovery is always, it's typically the ones everyone already knows. So many times I'll use a podcasting app and they'll say, you know, uh, based off what you listen to, you should check this out. It'll be like, you know, NPR, BBC, Rachel Maddow, CNN. I'm like, okay, yeah, wow. Like I didn't know these podcasts existed, but it'll be the smaller podcasts that just get buried and buried and buried. So if they're offering us an opportunity to be featured well, then obviously I want to do everything I can. And all we need to do is point you to that. Now, the great thing is before they contacted me, I already used the Podorama podcasting app. It's on my Mac. I have it right here. Here it is. Pod- Podorama. I'm opening it up right there. Podorama. All right. 50 million plus podcast in every genre. Voted number one podcast app for mobile, web, and desktop. I hit continue, and then there it is. I, I'm not signed in uh, currently, but here is uh, all my podcasts. I don't know why I'm not signed in, but okay. Um, let's see here. Can I sign in just doing it this way? Continue with my passcode. Let's see here. Let me do this. 8460. Hit continue. And there's all my podcast. There they are. So I'm looking at it right now. I'm looking at uh, the the pod, uh, Podorama podcasting app. Here's all of my podcast that I subscribe to on this one. There's 386. So there, that's a lot. I can go to new episodes. I can hit see all for new episodes. And then at the top, I've got arts, business, comedy, education, fiction, health and fitness, history, kids, family, leisure, news, religion, and spirituality. I click on that, and guess what's the first thing? The screw tape letters, commentary, part one. Does Satan know our thoughts? World events update. What what is the exact object of faith for eternal salvation? Um, let's see. Freedom, the greatest chapter in the Bible, part two. A teenage survivor of deadly, deadly disease will study medicine at Harvard. Uh, God's word seen in us. So there's all of these 666, 666 versus 777. I have all of these uh, podcasts right here. But see, I just go to the religion and spirituality tab. And then I can go to trending, which podcast are trending. I can go to the same categories so what's trending right now? What's trending in the uh, religion and spirituality is, well, sadly, Joel Olstein is currently trending. OK, that's that's what's currently trending is Joel Olstein. OK, but uh, uh, Joyce Meyer is currently trending, you know. Um, yeah. See, but that's once again, it's the big names that are trending. Elevation Church with Stephen Furtick is trending. Uh, the Potter's uh, the Potter's Touch by P- Bishop T D Jakes. That's trending. So it's always the big names that are trending. That's what makes it so hard for a smaller podcast to ever be found and to ever be discovered. And that's why I think it's so important. Uh, you know, whenever you can help out smaller podcasts in any way that you can, supporting them, promoting them, um, and using different podcasting apps to see how. Maybe uh, you can find other podcasts. So the Podorama podcasting app, please, you can place it on every device that you have. You can check it out. Now, I did pay. They they do have like a paid version. I paid for like six months um, for a six month, I guess the premium. I don't know what it's called, but I went ahead and did that. And, and I did all of this before they ever contacted me a long time ago, because once again, I'm Probably about once every two to three months, I'll go to the Google or the Google, the Apple App Store, and I'll type in, you know, podcast, podcasting apps, and I just go through them like, haven't tried that one, haven't tried that one, haven't tried that one, haven't tried that one. Now, a lot of them I try and delete. I'll be honest, Pot- the Podorama podcasting app, not only did I keep, I paid for like, you know, six months, whatever it was, $49, whatever. I think if you go to Podorama.com, they're offering like a 50% discount on uh, the, the, their their paid features. Uh, so you should check out the website, Podorama.com. I think at the very top, it says 50% off. They're doing a 50% uh, uh, discount today. So you may want to check that out. And then if you do check out the app, what do you like about it? What do you not like about it? What do you hate about it? Right now, they have a 4.6 uh, rating. 
and the Apple App Store. I don't know what it is on Google. Uh, so that's that's pretty good. They did an update two weeks ago, and I'm not going to list all the new features. I mean, it is long. It is long. Lots of new features, and uh, you can you can check it out. Now, I think the thing with the Podorama app is just this is just you need to spend some time with it. You need to try to learn every feature, what it does, what it doesn't do, because at first you'll just be like, wait a minute. You may not see all of the you, – you may not see any of the advantage. You may like, well, all the other apps do these. But you have to kind of really look at all the features, learn to mess with it, structure it in a way that will help you discover, one, more new podcast, and two, especially for those – who listen to theology and spiritual podcasts, you can then check out that specific genre, that specific genre of podcast. And you can see how you can organize your own. But I wanted to at least tell you about it because one, it benefits us. So please check out the website, at least download the app today, at least download the app. And if you do download the app, you know, you could leave a little comment there just saying, heard about you on the Theology Central podcast episode today, and uh, we're che- I'm checking it out. You don't have to say you love it. You don't have to say you hate it. I mean, if you love it, great. If you, if you don't, just, just say you, you, you heard about us and you're checking, you, checking them out. They may even have a, a free trial for like a seven-day free trial to check out all of the features. I don't know. You'd have to look and see. Like I said, I've had the app downloaded for so long. I don't know. It's my go-to app on my Mac on my MacBook. I, I do go to Podorama first. I just do. Um, that's, that's just, ten, that tends to be what I go to. You, you say why? I don't know. It just works really good on the Mac. It just really works really good on the Mac. And that's what I go to. And uh, yeah, there you go. And they just dropped a new episode of a couple of podcasts. So while we were talking, so, or not they, but different podcasts, but they've updated. How quickly does our content show up on Podorama? To be honest, I don't know. I don't think I've ever checked it. I don't think I've ever checked how fast our content shows up. We're going to find out here in a minute because when I'm done broadcasting, I'm now going to check and see how long does it take for a Theology Central broadcast to show up on the Podorama podcasting app at the conclusion of live broadcast. We will see. But I just wanted you to know about it. There you go. Uh, we're not getting paid for this. There's no payment, but, but we are being – the way it's supposed to work is we're going to be featured in certain areas They, um, as they explained it in an email, how it will work. I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know. But hey, if it brings new eyes to the podcast, great. Uh, you know, we, we're, we're now in the top 5% of podcasts globally. So, you know, a little bit extra help. Wouldn't it be great if we could get in the top 3%, top 4%? Could you imagine the top 1%? That would be crazy. That would be nuts. I don't think we'll ever get there just because of the way I podcast. I'm one person sitting in front of a microphone. There's not two people. There's not three people. There's not four people. It's not highly, uh, it's not edited. It's not overly produced. Um, It's just one person in front of a microphone. And I don't even have a normal podcasting schedule. Like I just podcast whenever I want. The, our our topics can range from anything. Like we we we're we're like still everyone else has kind of moved to the cities of a very kind of there's a template, very manufactured. They just kind of very I, I hate to say it corporate, and just they follow the podcasting industrial complex template. And we're out here in the wild, wild west with no, we don't follow any of the rules. So I, 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 I like that, but, uh, uh, you know, you, you, you can see what you think. But yeah, I just looked. A limited time offer, 50% off lifetime premium access across iOS, Android, web, and desktop apps. Podorama. The best free cross-platform podcasting app. Check it, check them out at podorama.com. If you like it, love it. I, look, I would like to get your review no matter what. If you like it, what you like, if you hate it, what you hate about it, I would just love to know. I like, I like, because look, the one thing, you know, I don't know about you, as many podcasts as I listen to, I do like being able to discover new ones. And I do like the fact that I can just go to the genre click the tab and then have all of that content. I do like that. 
that that makes it easy because you know so if i look i mean if i look at through all the podcast i subscribe to it's just a mess of different things but if i can go to a specific genre then i can go directly to what i'm looking for so check it out let you know and uh yeah you and i don't know how well the search function works i don't know some people use the search function a lot on podcasting apps. I find myself not doing that. I do believe on the Pod- Podorama app. In fact, I'm opening it up on my... Um, you can do this. Where is it? Search alerts. You can create alerts for keywords of your interest and will notify you when new episodes are released relevant to those keywords. So you can literally create a search alert. So maybe, I don't know, maybe there's some big story, some big topic that you, you know, maybe AI, you want to hear all the podcasting apps about, or all the podcast episode, episodes about AI. You could type in AI, all right? Uh, you could, um, theology, uh, I don't, I don't know whatever the, the issue may be at the time. I haven't done that. I'm going to create some, if you create some search alerts, let me know how, how well they work. I would be interested to know what, like what search alerts did you create? You know, it should be your, your only theology, the only, <laughs> the only, uh, search alert you should have should be theology central. I don't even know what that would work because is it, is it going to be going from the title of the episode or the title of the podcast? I don't know. I need to, I need to create some search alerts, but I thought that was a cool feature that the, that you can create alerts so that you can find podcast about whatever subject I'm going to, I know which one I'm going to create. I'm going to create, I'm going to do that one. All right. I create, I create, I just created one. I just created one. We'll see. And I think they send it to your email inbox, but you can check it out and see how it works. I'm going to be curious to see how well it works. All right. There you go. The Podorama podcasting app. Check it out today. Please, if you do, leave a leave a comment in the podcasting app store or the app store that you download it from, just that you heard about us, heard about them on, from Theology Central. That helps us out a little bit. Maybe we Maybe some people learn about the podcast. Maybe people learn about it and hate it. Maybe people learn about it and love it. But you can't you can't pass up an opportunity like this. So I wanted to take 22 minutes of your time to tell you about it. All right. Can you imagine if I got if see if there was someone who would sponsor me? I, I'm telling you, I I could I could talk a long time about your product. I could I could I could talk a long time. See, I, I'm worth a lot of money. Okay. All right. I'm joking. All right. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, Remember, we'll be live broadcasting again at 7 p.m. Jeremiah chapter 11 is the goal tonight. And uh, I'm going to possibly throw in another episode here in the next few minutes about something, you know, more than just a podcasting app. But we'll see. We'll see. But I wanted to get this in and get this taken care of today. And uh, hopefully you'll check it out if you listen to podcast. There you go. And you can let me know if you love it or if you hate it. And let them know that you heard about it on the Theology Central podcast, where it's 108 out degrees outside and where we have answered the most burning question around today. How do you say Potterama, Potterama? It seems that at least some of us think it's Potterama. You tell us. Thanks for listening. Everyone have a great day. God bless.